Hello YouTube, I hope you're all doing well. I think the summer's coming to an end here in the UK, we've got grey skies and a bit of wind. Not cold though, actually it's quite nice in that respect. But uh, don't get me wrong, I think I'm going to need the umbrella on standby soon. Where is it? Smoking the trusty Falcon with a billiard bowl. And in it I've got some Holgerdansk cherry vanilla. Which is horrible. Cherry, absent, vanilla, absent. Tobacco, questionable. A smoky blend comprising of bitterness, essence to burning tyre. I'm still smoking it though. I don't know why. That really is burning quickly as well. So yeah, Holger Dan Dansk, Dansk, Cherry Vanilla. If you're into the aroma of Michelin or Pirelli, it's the one for you. I don't know where I got it from, I think someone gifted it to me. Anyway, that's not the reason for this video. A few videos ago I talked about whether or not you're a tobacco or pipe person. And most of the responses that came through on that were either, well, the majority of them were tobacco rather than pipes. Um, so rather ironically, since posting that video, I've had a bit of an itch, which I've struggled to scratch. And it's a, an itch for a particular type of pipe. I really love the look of the Morgan Pipes Briar Cigar. I think it looks great. And I can see how it could work really nicely into some sort of smoking rotation because it's alright to sit down with a pipe. But very often it's half an hour, 45 minutes before it's gone. And let's face it, you don't want to put it out, go indoors, go and do other stuff and come back an hour later, it's never going to taste the same. So I quite like the idea of a pipe that's going to be a quick hit. And yeah, I know you can half fill a bowl and everything else. But that makes far too much sense. I'd rather moan about it. Hmm. Vague hint of cherry there. And then tyre. Anyway, so I've been looking at these Morgan Pipes Briar Cigars and they're, I'm sure they're very good, but they're a little bit out of my budget at the moment. Then I looked at the Cobb Cigar. I can't find anyone in the UK that sells that either. You've got the cost of shipping on top of buying one of those. They're quite cheap to start with, but then you've got to ship it over, and they're quite dear. Well, it gets quite dear once you've done that. So then I made that fatal error, and I had a look on eBay, and started looking for Briar Cigars, and that came back with some quite confusing results and just started looking at pipes in general. And I found that the concept of a tubular pipe that smokes that way rather than that way is actually nothing new. Um, although I do appreciate the Morgan pipes as a reverse calabash. I don't actually really know what that means, but I would imagine it's got something to do with the cooling of the smoke. But there were pipes made called Zeppelin pipes. And rumour has it they were made for use in airships. Um, due to the nature of their design, there was less likely to be a spark from the bowl, and therefore the combustible gases that hold the Zeppelin up in the air were less likely to go and blow up. Quite frankly, I find it hard to believe that in such a combustible environment, someone would consider even lighting a match, let alone smoking a pipe. But they were different times, I guess. So anyway, I discovered these things called Zeppelin pipes.
and estate versions of those vary in price greatly. But being a bit of a uh, penny pinching pipe smoker, I didn't want to spend much. And naturally, basket case comes up on auction at a ridiculously low price as they always do. And uh, I kind of worked out what I wanted to pay for it. Did a bid from a client's house on the quiet up to my maximum bid and uh, got it <laughs> for just a few quid shy of my maximum bid. Needs a bit of work, needs a bit of doing up, needs a bit of restoration. It's not a reverse calabash. And my girlfriend said it looks like a dog's turd. an odd looking thing isn't it? You unscrew this on the front and put your tobacco in there, pack it all down presumably, light it up, put the cap on and smoke away. Not sure about the stem. Beautifully drilled, I don't know if you can see that, the stem anyway. But I think the main bulk of it is actually alright. This thing's a boot polish. So, uh, after I've done the Peterson, I shall be doing this the dog turd, as it seems to have affectionately been called. And I think what I'm going to do with this is strip it right off, strip all the stain off, and get it all stripped right back, sand it off, and uh, Restain it because it's a bit shit looking, but hopefully that will satisfy my itch for a bright cigar. It probably won't, and I'll probably end up buying one in the end. But uh, pipe smoking on a budget, you tend to buy these basket cases and see what you can do with them. So Zeppelin pipe, looks a bit like a Zeppelin. If you Google Zeppelin pipes, you'll find that, uh, interestingly enough, there seem to be two smoking apparatus by that name. One was used for uh, use in aircraft that get you high. And the other type of Zeppelin pipe seems to be filled with a substance that gets you high. So if you are interested in buying one, make sure you get the right one. getting marginally better but not a lot. So yeah, Holger Danks, Cherry Vanilla, Steer Clear, Zeppelin Pipes, or Dog Turds, coming soon. That's all I got today, just wanted to say hello, check in with that. I'm staying off of eBay now, because I promise you start looking at one and you start looking at other things and other things and other things and it all gets really rather expensive, so uh, no more eBay. He says, I spend quite a lot of time sat at a computer with my work, so it's kind of difficult to resist. And one thing's for certain, I won't be smoking this tobacco again in a hurry. Ooh. Thanks for watching.